G'day Roosters, let's have a look at this CAD file that's available for download at blocks.draftsperson.net and the title of the page is People and Wheelchairs Dimensions. There is a preview there, it shows you what's contained within so it gives you an idea but let's actually download the actual file, the DWG file and open it in AutoCAD and have a good look at it. So this as you can see shows a set out of how people move through space if they're constrained in some way because of mobility issues i.e. they're in a wheelchair or they're using crutches now a lot of this stuff is set out in your relevant code and standard in your in your country but this file I like to use because it gives you a vis visible sensibility check on your designs so you can plop that block in there of that wheelchair and just see if it actually does fit. You could do an elevation of your bathroom and just see if it works for most people. A tall man or a short woman or someone sitting in a wheelchair. Or you can do a sensibility check on your bench use that it will work for someone in a wheelchair or someone with crutches to reach something. So you could add that to your drawings to make it more visual to the person you're trying to tell the story to about the accessibility of your design. So let's actually have a look at the file in more detail. Now it is in metric, so it's in millimeters. It is drawn one to one. So for example, that there is 1,500 millimeters diameter or 1.5 meters. Now there are some layering in there Annotations is all on one layer, center lines on one layer, def points I don't think is used, but the actual line work is drawn on layer zero and by block. Now it isn't a block, but it's set up to ready to be made a block because you may, I've set this up deliberately, you may only want that part or you may only want this part. So just create a block of what you want and you already have it on layer zero and by block. So please reach out to us too if you can show us ways that you have used this block in your drafting.